Universal Studios Orlando is under scrutiny tonight after a biracial couple claims their seven-year-old daughter was the victim of a racist act by a cartoon character. The family has hired a South Florida attorney and is now calling for accountability on the part of Universal. It was the last thing the Zinger family expected when they took their two kids to a character breakfast at Universal Studios last March. What appears to be a symbol of white power made by Despicable Me character Felonius Grew on the shoulder of their seven-year-old daughter who has autism. When I was um, taking the picture, he had his hand regular on oh, Okay. And then as I'm looking in the camera, then that's when he took the opportunity because everything's real small, you know, tiny on the camera compared to when you're looking at it in your view. Richard and Tiffany Zinger are an interracial couple with two children. The Iraq War veterans have homes in Florida and Colorado. Neither noticed the controversial symbol until a few weeks ago while going through their vacation photos. I looked through all my pictures on my phone, and then I'm just like, well, we can't use this one because it was something going on with it. The Anti-Defamation League added the upside-down OK sign to its hate on display database last month. Besides the hand gesture, Tiffany Zinger says she had other misgivings about the Gru character. He didn't want to touch me. And I have a picture with him not touching me, putting his hands up in the air with two bananas. The actor in the Gru costume has reportedly been fired by Universal. As for the Zingers, they've hired Miami attorney Jack McCluskey to represent them. The Zingers are interested in assuring that this doesn't happen to any other family or any other child. They're not necessarily interested in filing a lawsuit. What they're hoping to do is to effectuate some change. I want change. I want them to change their hiring, their supervision, um, their training practices. Um, I wanted to make sure that this doesn't happen to another family, another child. Attorney Jack McCluskey told me this afternoon the family wants to know the identity of the Gru character to find if, in fact, the person is a member of any white supremacist group. A spokesman for Universal Orlando told the CBS affiliate in Colorado Springs that this was not acceptable and they are taking steps to make sure nothing like this happens again.